podcasting. Good. We're gonna, I'm gonna go for it anyways. <laughs> you wanted to be last. So I wrote this poem. I think it was like the end of June, and it was about this guy I dated. He was a jerk, aren't they always? So this one's titled Friend. I have this shirt. It says, we all start as strangers. And lately, a stranger is all I've been. Stranger distraught, lost in thought, searching. I can still feel my eyes puffy and sore, my head throbbing from outbursts of sobbing, still curl up in a ball on the floor, only half metaphorically. Begging myself to put the phone down and pick the bottle up. Both seem like poison at this point. Fingers slipping on my grasp of reality, only slightly convinced I'll be all okay. Mostly certain I've woken up in a nightmare and there's no 6 a.m. alarm to rescue me. Night after night on a Netflix binge, contemplating every recollected detail of the past few months. A mental list of unanswerable questions forms. How is it that human hearts create the sticky, messy bond that we've called love and given sweet connotation? And love tastes sour from your lips. Bitter words, friends, is all you can handle. The word friend is defined as a person whom one knows and whom one has a bond of mutual affection. So please tell me how affection has turned into blank text boxes and the grayest questions. How someone so close can revert to just a stranger. And maybe you'll always were. And the strangest thing is, did I ever really know you? Mutual affection, I gave you my love, my heart, my body, my trust. You gave me just friends. And how long does it take for someone to think about things before all contact turns into weeks of one-sided conversations of newly established one-sided friendship? You were like an asteroid, this small thing from afar and then so suddenly cataclysmic. You leave no remorse, no explanation, only fear of gazing amongst the stars and a human heart-sized crater that can't quite seem to function as anything aside from a black hole. And good God, I'm need a life. Yet I'm too terrified of a singular existence, terrified of strangers and friends alike, terrified to trust my own mind, struck paralyzed in the company of anything suspiciously decent, too paranoid to believe that a transition from strangers is anything more than a waste of time, that I'm worth anything more than every other girl Taylor Swifting their lost loves. And how many friends does someone need anyways? I mean, we went from a crowd to an outstanding social turnout, two went from no longer company to just a guy trying to get my pants. And then one seems wrong yet safely right. No trust in sight. Maybe strangers should just stay as that. Maybe I'm better off with a narcoleptic social life doomed to disintegrate once things turn out right. Maybe I should stop looking amongst the stars because life is not a wish-granting factory. And no matter how much I wish you'd talk to me or I wish you'd come back, and I wish you'd understand, I wish we never made it past strangers, that's not how life works. The sky isn't the answer to all my problems and neither were you. So tonight, I'll go to my favorite places and sit down and have a smoke and contemplate just how many strangers I see. All disasters just waiting for a chance to say hello. Yeah! Can we do one more? Yeah. Yeah? How do I work your phone on? Press play. Press play. I have these. I don't have a press button. I don't like your phone. Okay. And then this is one I wrote after my senior year of formal, I never went to prom, and it's, um, I'll never wear white. I'll never wear white because white stands for purity and innocence, something I haven't had nor witnessed in such a long time. I'll never wear white because I can no longer pull it off with this body I colored. Even if I could pull it off with my pale blank skin, I'll never wear white, not years to come when everyone's no longer young and have married because I no longer have the trust in others to make such a commitment. I'll never wear white because it's not slimming enough to complement my now emaciated body. I'll never wear white because when things get hard, I swore I'd be the last to give, the last to parade my flag of defeat. And I swear I'll never wear white because a long time ago, someone who meant something to me told me I was ugly in it. And now I swore as I ripped that dress off, throwing it to the floor, that I never would again. So instead, I wore blue that night, the dress he picked for me. I fucking hated that dress. <laughs> but now my blue period is over, and that was a long time ago. And that someone that meant something to me ne means next to nothing. And tonight I'll rip those words from my mind and put them on my blue lips one last time. I swear tonight, I'll never let a man tell me who I am or who to be. I'll never be anything less than me. I give up every painful memory every late night. My scary steam cheeks, early morning puffy eyes. I give up subbing at school, hoping no one sees. I give up living on my knees. I give up wearing all black like I'm cast for my funeral. I give up being the ghost of someone I used to be. So lately, I do wear white. Not all white. Gray. 
because I'm still not all right. It still hurts and I still grieve. I still cry, I still remember everything. But I know I believe it's time for a change. Half black, half white, to symbolize not who I was or who I'll be, but who I am and I am me. I feel so close to you right now. It's a force field. All right, one more time for Cat, you guys.